wintertime fishing isn't always the fastest, most furious action, but it really is one of the very best times to catch a giant pre-spawn fat bass. And you know, who doesn't like to catch a fat bass? It can be a total blast and you're not gonna get a whole bunch of bites, but you better hang on when you do because I've caught some huge fish in the wintertime. Now, if there's three baits I had to choose, just day in and day out when that water is you know, below 50 degrees, here's what they are. First off, I'd have a jerk bait. This is a Spro McStick jerk bait. Um, I like this bait right here in this size because it has three hooks. Uh, the three hooks are gonna make it so if a bass just swats at that bait, say he doesn't really wanna eat it, but you rip it in front of his face and he just swipes at it, chances are he's gonna find one of these hooks where if you're throwing a two hook bait and they swat at it, you have a better chance of missing them. So the jerk bait is really good to throw around shallow points and uh, clay and gravel banks. And I really like to throw it where the wind's blowing and the sun's shining. A good sunny, windy day will get the bass shallow, even in the wintertime, trying to find that warmth. And this jerk bait imitates a wounded shad. Now this bait suspends. And the fact that it suspends, what that means is that it's gonna hover in the water column. So when I pause that bait, it's designed to be neutrally buoyant. So it's just gonna sit there. It's not gonna float, it's not gonna sink. It's just gonna pause. And that pause is what triggers those bass to eat, even in the cold winter time. If you pause that bait down there by them, they can just super slowly, low metabolism, they're gonna move slow, they're gonna slowly swim up to it and just and suck that bait in. So a jerk bait is my first choice uh, when I'm fishing in the winter time. Second, I have a shad wrap right here. Now, a Rapala or Rapala, however you wanna call it, shad wrap has been catching bass for years. I mean, this thing has caught literally probably a million bass in, in, you know, as, in as long as it's been around. So this bait right here is probably one of my very favorite wintertime baits, especially if you fish a lake that has a lot of crawdads in it. That brown back with those orange sides really imitates a crawdad as that thing's rooting around down in the rocks and gravel. So this bait, the key is making it crawl. When you cast that thing out there, you wanna get that bait coming back so where it's bumping into the bottom. If that thing's not crawling down there on the bottom, you're not gonna catch very many fish. Now another key is fishing it slow. Once I get it down to the depth where it's digging, I just want to slowly reel this thing. So I'm going to wind it nice and slow and it's just going to crawl down in the rocks down there. And uh, even a slow cold bass is going to swim up and eat that uh, shad wrap. That's another really good one when your water temperature is below 50 degrees. Another key to the shad wrap and why it's so good is it's silent. It's a nice subtle presentation. There's no rattles in it. It's made out of wood and just that, that kind of that gentle clicking down there and clacking as it's digging into the rocks looks like a crawdad and catches a lot of fish. Now you're going to find days when the bass just simply don't want to move at all. They're not going to chase anything. You can't get bit on the shad wrap or the jerk bait. And in that case, what I pick up is a jig. A jig is kind of like a filet mignon to a bass. I mean, this is a kind of a bulky, a bulky bait. It's a good, looks like a good meal to them and it imitates a crawdad. And the key with a jig in the winter time is fishing it nice and slow. Um, I want to fish that bait super slow on the bottom, just giving it little twitches and pops and then letting it sit there. And a lot of the time your bites are going to come when that bait's just sitting flat on the bottom, those feet are sticking up and these little tentacles are flared out. And a bass is going to not want to burn a whole lot of energy if it's not worth his while. So this bulky jig, if they're in a very dormant mood and cold down there, they will swim up and they'll eat this jig. Now I have a trailer on here that has very little action. And in my opinion, the bass don't want something that's crazy flapping and moving and wiggling like crazy. And it just doesn't look natural if you have something flapping like that in cold water. So this just plain, you know, straightforward chunk style trailer is really good. It was kind of, you know, kind of the old jig and pig approach. But that jig, if the bass don't want to chase anything, throw that bait around rock points or, uh, you know, deeper structure, work it down there deep, slow on the bottom, and you'll catch fish on that jig as well. So here's my three baits I would bring to go catch bass in the middle of the winter.